everyone and welcome to level three AI uh, conference. My name is Jacques Patrick Hissa and I'll be taking through how to locally manage and maintain your Azure resources as you deploy your Azure X. So uh, just a little introduction is I'm a machine learning instructor at uh, Africa Data School and I, I love conversational AI. I also love building uh, Azure uh, assistants. So the proper way to run Azure X is on a server when it's publicly accessible and running at all times. And the prerequisites is that you'll need a Linux terminal. You'll also need your uh, Azure portal credentials. You'll need to be installing the latest Ubuntu LTS image. Make sure your machine meets minimum requirements and also domain name. You have required your domain name. So uh, about the Azure CLI is that you'll have to launch your Azure CLI and you'll also have to sign into your Azure. And then after you've signed into Azure, you can proceed to create a VM, create a resource group, and then proceed to create uh, a VM. So for you to manage your Azure VM, also make sure that you open the port 80 and also make sure that you connect to the, to the VM. So for you to install the uh, Azure X, make sure that uh, in your terminal, you type these commands. And also you type these commands specifically in this directory that contain your Razer uh, resource files. So apart from that, also you have to consider the Azure DNS is the hosting service for DNS domains, provides your name resolution. Remember that you cannot use the Azure DNS to buy domain name. So the billing is based on the number of DNS zones said in the Azure and also the DNS uh, queries received. So for you to delegate the DNS zones with the Azure DNS in order for the DNS queries of a domain to reach the Azure DNS, create a DNS zone, then create a DNS record. In this case, uh, I gave an example of an A record. So after that, then you can proceed to install the SSL certificates, uh, SSH, uh, that is uh, SSH into your Azure VM, then install and start the certbot. Then after you've done all this, make sure that you restart uh, your container for the effects to take change. So for you to manage also uh, as a Kubernetes service, there's another option for you to install your Raza X and also maintain, especially if you want to customize uh, your Raza X. So for you to manage your Azure Kubernetes service, you need this prerequisites that you'll have to also launch into the cloud. You also have to launch your cloud shell and also sign in to your Azure. Then choose a subscription. After you've chosen a subscription, you can have an option of enabling your cluster monitoring. This is very important if you have to maintain the, uh, the health of your resources, especially the Azure Kubernetes service. So after that, then you can uh, proceed to create the cluster. And then this is the processes of you to create the cluster, make sure that you assign the resource group, you assign the name of the cluster, and also the number of nodes that you need. You can also enable monitoring, uh, that is very important. Uh, you can consider uh, installing and configuring the Kubectil. These are very uh, good uh, space for you to, uh, to enable you to actually uh, interact with these nodes. So after you have installed and configured your Bechtel, make sure that you verify the connection. So this is very important because uh, if you've not verified the connection, then it's very hard for you to actually proceed uh, to use something like Helm Chats. Okay. So uh, for you to configure the Helm Chat, uh, this is something that is already uh, in the Raza docs. Uh, for you to configure the Helm Chat, you can add the Raza Helm Chat to the cluster by using this command. You can inspect your manifest file. Your manifest file contains all the deployment uh, requirements, what you need to be deployed. So you can inspect the manifest file. And then if you want to do some configuration, you have to create an override file uh, for you to adjust some of those credentials. So in case you are done with these resources, uh, when you're done with all these resources, because they, they are costly, just remember that you can always clean up these resources. It's a very good practice. If you're not using these resources as well, you can just um, clean up the resources. So when you no longer need these resources, proceed to read, uh, delete the resource group. And this is the command for you to, uh, to use. So in conclusion, you can create, you can check status, you can add new configurations to your Azure resources locally using the Azure CLI while deploying Razor X. This is very specific to uh, the Linux terminal. If you have the Linux OS or the package installer, uh, that's a very good uh, step for you to start with. Then the next thing for you to do is uh, make sure that you, are, uh, you have purchased a Linux uh, image for your VMs, if you're using the VMs, and also make sure that for the Kubernetes, uh, for the both scenarios, you have uh, an active subscription and also uh, it's possible for you to control most of these uh, logins. And also uh, locally on your terminal, make sure that you have the uh, author or maybe uh, the privileges 
uh, to uh, navigate in your root folder and, and so forth and so forth. So that uh, by the moment you reach onto the Azure CLA uh, space, the only thing that remains is for you uh, to uh, manage and create Azure clusters together with the Azure uh, VMs. So special thanks to the Raza uh, L3 or the Level 3 uh, AI and the Africa Data School for giving me this opportunity. If you'd like to reach me, you can reach me at Jack Patrick on LinkedIn. And if you have any other questions, I'll be here to answer most of the questions. Thank you.